what it costs in the tuition if your student goes to Murray or goes to Western Kentucky University. So this is a valuable, valuable source of information. So take some time later to really check this book out, hang on to this, important things. Also, located inside the book, we put the handouts in there, and this is a copy of my PowerPoint presentation, so all the slides that I'm going to share with you are located right here. So you'll have this to take home with you. You don't have to try to remember everything we discussed tonight. There's a little bit of space if you want to take some notes. There's also some room on there for that, okay? Also, in this packet, <clears throat> this is important information. These, this is a chart that shows uh, responsibilities of us this year. This is a huge year for your senior. So these are uh, some areas where, well, where I will assist your students. So you've got counselor assistance, and then you've got parent responsibilities and uh, assistance, and then student responsibilities. So this is kind of important to take a look at and know what you, the parent, are responsible for as far as uh, things to, to take care of this year to help your student to be prepared for life after high school and seniors. A lot of important things for you to, to check out on this page as well that you're responsible for. This is also super helpful. This is a information uh, for seniors and parents to let you know how to forward an email to your phone. So I think most of the seniors can get their school email on their phones, but if not, this will tell you how. Uh, some of our seniors in the building go to OCTC classes. So it's great to be able to get your OCTC email and your Apollo email all on your phone. So this will give you some tips on how to do that. I love this sheet right here. I borrowed this idea from a counselor at another high school. This is very, very handy. This is called a Senior Do Not Lose sheet. Seniors, we talked about this when I visited your classes. You have so many accounts you have to set up this year. I know, usually when you apply for a college, you have to create an account. You have an ACT account. Some of you have AP accounts. Um, you have, you're gonna have a FAFSA account. You have a parchment account. So there are lots of usernames and passwords that you have to keep up with. A good suggestion is put all of your important usernames and passwords on one sheet. Put all of your college things in one folder. Have that where you know where it is at home. Okay, you've got a lot of things to keep up with. And my suggestion is once you get the sheet filled out with all of your usernames and passwords, seniors, take a picture of that and you will have that information on your phone. So when that scholarship deadline is coming up or an important deadline and you are searching, trying to find your username and password, it will be on your phone, it will be on this paper, and that will cut down on stress, okay? It can be very difficult to read how to reset passwords. So keep up with your all of your important things on this sheet. Um, we also have a couple of other helpful things um, in your packets. We have um, some information uh, about borrowing. If you want to take out any student loans, here's some nuts and bolts of borrowing. Uh, we also have a senior time frame tells you some things that you need to be aware of that need to happen in the fall and in the spring. There's some little checklists you can check boxes when you take care of major jobs. And also, seniors, this is just for you. This is a fun senior year bucket list. This is your very last year of your whole life you're going to spend in high school. So there are some cool things that we will do as a senior class of the fall. We'll do some fun activities together. But if you, have a, if you want to have a personal bucket list, there's just some cool things to accomplish before you leave school and leave the eagle's nest and walk out into the world. So consider a couple of these things. So those are handouts that were available to you. And now I'm going to jump back um, to the slides so if you want to have that PowerPoint handed out in front of you, you can. Feel free to take some notes um, if you hear some things that can be helpful. Uh, Paul, you have myself. 
I am the counselor for seniors working and helping seniors this year, and also we are fortunate to have a college and career readiness coordinator. Her name is Kelly Spaw. Uh, Ms. Spaw is our go-to contact for OCTC classes. She knows a lot about that. Um, she can help. Some of our students are taking OCTC classes this year in high school, so she helped with those, and she can also help set that up for after high school. Ms. Spaw helps plan a lot of our field trips and gets a lot of our college trips in the building. So she, you have two people working for a health and I will tell you, um, I shared with you that I have a son and daughter that um, have successfully walked through college, so I'll share all of my college mom with some of you. Ms. Spaw has a senior this year in Davis County, so she's doing the senior mom kind of journey with you, so we are happy to We'll share our professional experience and we'll share our mom experience with you and our seniors as well. So, what does it take to get an Apollo High School diploma? Seniors are required to have 26 credits. That includes four credits in math, four credits in English, three full credits in science, three full credits in social studies, a full credit in health and PE, and one full credit in performing arts, which most of the performing arts classes are half credit in each, so two performing arts classes, okay? Most of our seniors have completed the majority of the core classes, and many of them only have, as they require classes, English and math this year, so they have room in their schedules to take more electives, and like I said, some of them are getting to go to OCTC and take some dual credit college level courses as well. So 26 credits before the May will uh, earn that diploma and those core classes cover the course. Some important fall uh, things for seniors. August through November, this is the time to apply for colleges. This is application season right now. Um, this past Friday, on September 13th, Jocelyn was here and met with the senior class, talked about graduation products, um, and also gave all of the seniors packets to take home. Tomorrow, I'm sorry, this Friday, the 20th, is the deadline to order graduation products, and everything now is ordered online at jocelyns.com. If you have any questions, you can feel free to call me, I'll try to walk you through ordering the products, okay? I can tell you this, um, the core minimum requirement from you is the basic cab and gown unit, okay? That includes the tassel, sole, cap, and gown, okay? And that is available for $52 plus shipping and handling. Now, Justin has a whole lot of other cool products. They have all kinds of packages, the Eagle package, they have jewelry and clothing and caps and tankards and all kinds of extra things. Those are optional, okay? If you want to order the extra things and, and you have that in your budget, that is great. Uh, feel free to order whatever you like, but the minimum is the cap and gap package and that can be purchased for $52 for shipping and handling, okay? So I just wanted to kind of point that out for you. Um, on September 27, Jocelyn's is going to have what they call Senior Celebration Day. They're going to come back to school, they're going to bring backdrops for pictures, and they are going to bring clothing items. If your senior wants to purchase any of those cool extra things like t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, caps, um, sweats, shorts, they will bring clothing items that day and your senior will get them now so they can wear them all the school year, okay? But I do want to point out to you that caps and gowns will not be delivered until the end of February, okay? So hang on for that, but they'll bring the clothing items early. Okay, they will be able to pick up those items during lunch shifts. They'll have a table set up and your senior can go pick up their things if they order extra, okay? On October 15, we're having a free ACT retake here uh, for all of the seniors who have already registered to take that exam. We have our Sadie Hawkins dance coming up on September 18th. Seniors, this is your last year, so consider coming to that and participating if you like. And then on November 26th, 
Life Touch will come to Apollo, and any senior who did not get senior pictures taken this summer will be invited to go to the gym and get pictures taken, okay? Now, let me let you know that this day, no money is needed, okay? We do want to get your senior picture taken so it can be in the yearbook. No money at all is needed. They simply go down, get their picture taken, and then they will be emailed some fruits, and if you want to purchase some of those pictures, you may, but it is not required. But this will get their picture in our yearbook. We really want to have your student in our in their senior yearbook. Okay. We have, I'm so thankful for this, and I'm so excited. Before COVID, back in the middle days, as I like to say, we got to go on all kinds of field trips and do lots of special things, and then we ran into a lot of health issues, and then we ran into bus driver shortages, and uh, we just had some, some difficulties getting, being able to pay field trips like we did in the past. So this year, our superintendent has told us that he wants to get our kids back on the road and on college campuses. So we're so thankful for that. And we have planned several trips for seniors. We visited Kentucky Wesleyan on September 5th with a big group of Apollo students. We're going to visit UK coming up on September 25th. On October, in October, we're going to visit U of L. We're going to go to USI or the University of Southern Indiana in October. And then in November, we're taking over to Murray State University. So we're so excited about those upcoming trips. We are working with Western Kentucky University to get a date when we can go visit that campus as well. So we are very excited to be able to do some things with these seniors and hope that they will take advantage. And I will tell you this, I told a lot of these seniors, um, Ms. Ball and I sent out a senior survey a few weeks ago. We asked your seniors to let us know what their plans were for after high school. And if they wanted to go to college, they got to let us know what their first top choice is. So when we have these trips, we have a limited number of seats. So what we're going to do, to be fair, is we're going to look at that senior survey and see which students indicated that their top choice was UK or U of L or Murray, and we're going to invite those students to the trip first. And then if we have additional seats, we'll open it up to all of the seniors. Okay. So that's how we'll we'll do these trips because we are sharing buses with Davis County. We have just so many seats that we can use for Apollo. Okay, life after high school. We've got multiple pathways to careers. Uh, some of our students decide that they want to do the four-year college experience. They want to graduate from Apollo. They either want to go away and experience the on-campus campus life, living in a dorm, being, maybe being out of town, maybe being here in town, but they choose the four-year route. A lot of our students choose to go to OCTC their first two years, possibly save some money, and then transfer to a four-year institution after those first two years. That's another route. Many of our students decide that they just want to get an associate's degree. There are so many excellent technical programs that OCTC offers, and a lot of those programs qualify for the Work Ready Scholarship, they can be funded fully through the Work Ready Scholarship, so no out-of-pocket expenses. And by those programs, I'm referring to industrial maintenance, welding, heating and cooling, electrician, auto diesel, nursing, certified nurse assistant, computer information technology. I have a list of several pages in my office that I'm happy to share if your student ever wants to come talk with me or if you would ever like that information. OCTC is a fantastic technical school right here in our city and they have lots of two-year associate degree programs. Some of our students choose to not go a full two years at OCTC, but OCTC has lots of certificate programs that can be completed in as little as six to nine months. And students can earn a certification in a particular skill or trade and can go to work after that and have that certification. That's another pathway. Some of our students 
will get an apprenticeship with KYFA or a trade union and get their education from a trade union and start to work. Some of our students will decide to serve our country and join one of our military branches. And then some of our students decide to jump right into the workforce after high school. We don't, I promise, we don't push any of those pathways down their throats. We don't try to tell them that four-year path is for every single student. We realize that every student you know, has different needs and desires, so we will work with your students on any of these pathways. Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you for attending the Davis County Public School. Okay. We appreciate your participation. For college-bound students, we encourage your students to do their online research. Um, it is time for them to apply to colleges. How do you apply to college? No paper and pencil applications anymore. They're going to go directly to the college website. And every college, on their, they have a website, and on their main page, there is an apply button. They're, your student is simply going to click on a file and they're going to fill out the application. Now, most state colleges, and when I say state, I'm talking about like U of L, UK, Western, Murray, Eastern, they're going to have a college application fee. And it can range anywhere from $30 to $50 just to apply, okay? So that is paid for at the very end of the application with a debit or a credit card, okay? If your student qualifies for free or reduced lunch, they can come see me and I can give them a fee waiver and waive that fee so they don't have to pay that, okay? Most of our private colleges, like Kentucky Wesleyan, Russia, Transy, Campbellsville, on Asbury, on and on, most of the private colleges do not have application fees, okay? So your students can apply to as many of those as they want and not pay anything to apply. After your student completes their online college application, they're immediately going to log into their parchment account, which we have taught them how to do at Apollo, and they're going to order their transcript. We don't mail transcripts anymore. We have an electronic service. They log in, they order their transcript, they tell parchment where to send it, push the button, and it goes the same day. And there is no charge to send a high school transcript as long as they're in high school. So we have taught them how to do that. A college or university cannot make a decision about a student until they have looked at their grades, okay? Most colleges in Kentucky are test optional. That means they don't, they're not concerned about their ACT scores or admission purposes, okay? They're looking for a 2.5, to a 2.75 and higher GPA. That's what they want to accept your students, okay? So they don't typically look at ACT scores. They do look at ACT scores when it comes to scholarships, okay? Um, so your students know how to do all those things. This is, a, this is time also to start scheduling some college visits. You can schedule a college visit right on the college's website. They have a visit button. You click it, it pulls up a calendar. You can choose the date that you want to go, and they'll show you the times that you can get signed up to go visit. Fall break is coming up, and that is an excellent time to make some college visits if parents can get off of work. That is a great time to go visit places. But please, schedule your visit in advance so they will be expecting you and they can tour you and talk to you about financial aid and cost, okay? Seniors can also have some days off of school. They get about three days that they can get excused for college visits, and I have a college visit form in my office that they can come get from me, okay? I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit. Uh, we talked about colleges usually aren't concerned with ACT scores to make admission decisions. However, when it comes to scholarship money, the higher the ACT score, the more money your student can qualify for. So it pays to retake the ACT to try to get higher scores. Okay? Uh, let's see. I think I went backwards. <laughs> Let me go the other way. Yeah, okay. I have some ACT dates. Now these are the national test dates. They're in your pocket. They're coming up. Um, usually, all of these dates, there are testing spots available at OHS. 
Davis County High and OCTC on the Frederick Cup. So seniors, you can test in Owensboro if you want to sign up for any of these upcoming dates. Other ways to pay for college. Your student hopefully is earning keys money. As long as they get a 2.5 or higher GPA, they have keys money coming their way. And recently, you should have gotten letters in the mail letting you know how much keys money you have right now. Okay? There are grants your student can get. Grants don't ever have to be repaid. How can they qualify for those? When you file FAFSA. I'll talk about that in a second, okay? There are student loans that your, your student can qualify for. There are work-study jobs. That's when your student has a job on the college campus. They won't let them work more than 20 hours per week. But hopefully they can get a job in an office where they can sit and answer phones or do light work and have time to study or do some of their work there. Also, there are scholarships available. That money never has to be repaid. And they have payment plans for parents and or students if you need that option. Okay? So keys money. When your student graduates in May um, and they go to the college, Kia will mail the keys money directly to the college. Okay, so Carson is not going to be handed a check and said, here, take this to the UK or wherever he decides to go. It doesn't come to me, it's not in my desk or anything, okay? The college reports to Kia that the student is there at their institution and Kia will mail the check directly to the college, okay? Parents and seniors, it is important for you to check the college bill when you receive it and, and look down in the description and make sure the keys may arrived at that college, okay? In the 10 years that I worked with seniors, I've only had about two situations where keys didn't arrive to college and we were able to resolve that within 24 hours. So they do a really good job of getting the money there, okay? We have also taught seniors how to check their keys, key account online and look at their money and make sure it's correct, okay? Um, scholarships, again, money that never has to be repaid. Now you may hear about students getting a $10,000 scholarship or a full ride to such and such. That money comes from the college or university, okay? They are the ones who award the bigger amounts. How do they award that? They usually look at ACT scores and GPA and offer academic money based on that, okay? So most money, again, comes from colleges or universities. We have some partial scholarships that are available through the community. Independence Bank gives scholarships, the Boys and Girls Club, the YMCA, um, Isaac Starrett Foundation. Um, I, there are many, many that I just can't think of right now. At Apollo High School, we give an Eagle Family Scholarship. We give a Brick Glassley Memorial Scholarship. We give a Dayton Heffel Fever Memorial Scholarship. We have several that we give. Those are partials that can be anywhere from $500 to $1,000. And we will let your seniors know when it's time to apply for those. Those can be found on our website, okay? Also, parents, be on the lookout for scholarships that your work or employer may offer. Also, churches, youth groups, clubs and organizations sometimes offer community scholarships as well. So those are places for you to be on the lookout for scholarship grant, okay? I have, this is in your notes that you have, I have the Apollo webpage, and this is where we post our community scholarships. The link is right there. There are a few now, but we'll get a lot more in the winter and spring, okay? Most of these are going to require a letter of recommendation. So seniors, think about a teacher who has worked with you and knows you well and would write a nice letter for you. Maybe a coach. Maybe a youth pastor, maybe a club sponsor, but be thinking of some people that you can ask for letters of recommendation. Scholarships typically require those, and they're going to require some essay writing as well. Okay? Um, we talked about grants, loans, and work study. Um, hopefully, the key of representative, if you got to go to her session, talk to you a little bit about that. Uh, freshman, by the way, through FAFSA, they can only borrow $5,500. 
for their freshman year of college. So it's not like in the former days when I was in college, we could borrow whatever we wanted. I could borrow $10,000 my freshman year if I wanted to. Well, they put a cap on that because of uh, student loan crisis and, and non-repayment. So your, uh, your senior can borrow $5,500 for freshman year for FAFSA. What is FAFSA? It is one of the most important things that you will accomplish this year. It is a free application for federal student aid. This is going to qualify your senior for grants, loans, and work study. Okay? Uh, I have on this slide that FASCO is supposed to open on December 1st, 2024. However, I was at a lunch today with Western. And they've already moved the date to January of 2024. So we will keep you in the loop. I will send lots of communication letting you know when FAFSA opens. We will also have a big FAFSA night at Apollo. We have excellent college partners, Kentucky Wesleyan, Brescia, and OCTC will send financial aid officers here, and they will help you file the FAFSA. Okay? So more info to come on that. All right, thank you so much for sharing your students with us. We appreciate the opportunity working with them. And thank